After something like the Dragon Law, the Kato 2014 stickers are probably the most famous type of item ever added to CSGO. Commanding absolutely bonkers price tags, they've always been the go-to in order to prove that you're rich in the community. Want to prove that you're hot sh Just keep a million dollars of Kato's on hand. The guy who most famously did something like this was a Luna, who proudly proclaimed he was in it for the long haul. This was in early 2021, but then something unexpected happened. For the first time in a very long time, Kato stickers took a hit. Luna cashed out, taking one of the most hilarious L's anyone has ever taken in the history of the game. And ever since, Kato prices have been kind of flat. I mean, don't get me wrong, they haven't gone down. Quite a few of them have actually inched upwards, actually, or at least recovered to their 2021 highs. But this is in the context of basically everything else on the entire market, at least doubling in price, compared to everything else. This part of the market has been kind of dead. But why? What happened to the golden child of the CSGO market? Well, let's have a look. Now, this video is sponsored by Skins Monkey. Check out Skins Monkey to quickly and easily trade your CSGO skins. Use the code Zeus to get up to $5 extra on your first trade, as well as a bonus when depositing. Link is in the description. Check it out today. Now, prior to going flat in 2021, Caddo's did incredible stuff. Famously, the iBuyPower Holo would go from about $2,000 in mid-2018 to about $50,000 only three years later. And even with its slump, it is still one of the most incredible performers in the history of the game. But the stickers also aren't quite as rare as people think. Although there's only 40 tradable iBuyPowers listed on Cantry's tracker tool, the truth is, the real supply out there is probably 10 times as much, although that is not a sign these things are in a bubble either. Remember, the price had to get this high with all those stickers already out there in the first place. And in terms of owners, it's rich gamber guys, rich Chinese guys, and rich non-Chinese guys who own most of the stickers. So the common factor being they tend to be rich. Now, the reason these things are so popular with rich people is that they make spending massive amounts of money quick and easy. Your dollars might be easy to come by, but your time is finite, and Caddo's solve that problem. But if rich people are also the driving force, what's led them to back off? At the end of the day, prices are just a matter of supply and demand, so there's either too many stickers or not enough buys, or a combination of both. And while it may be a combination of both, the big issue at the moment seems to be demand. One of the reasons Katowice stickers became so expensive is because people kept slapping them on weapons, generally for increasing the ridiculous prices. But if we look at the stats on the publicly known craft since 2021, there's been a precipitous decline. Based on the spreadsheet managed by Ra CSGO, CSGO's most tragic RMR investor, there was 57 publicly known Cato 2014 holocrafts in 2021, but only 34 publicly known Kato 2014 holocrafts in 2022, and only 11 publicly known Kato 2014 holocrafts so far during 2023. And this year's crafts are also pretty cheap ones as well. That is a pretty steep drop off, and is probably being caused by a significant decrease in the number of new skins being added to the game since 2021. Players generally like their Kato 2014 holocrafts to be unique because that greatly increases their value when there's only one of them versus like 50. That's why Kato crafts and blue laminates are so cheap because there are so many blue laminates out there with Kato stickers on them. So the release of new high tier skins tends to provide big incentives for players to make crafts. But since 2021, We've had a grand total of one new collection and three new cases. That is not a lot of opportunities to make new crafts. And this is probably part of the reason for the big drop off in crafts. And as a result, the slowdown in Kato seeker prices. In fairness, the Chinese scene as a whole also seems to have slowed down a bit too over the past two years, which probably isn't helping either. But regardless, this seems to be a major factor. But I think another factor we do have to consider is simply something called mean reversion. 
Now, if you don't know what mean reversion means, don't worry, this should still make sense anyway. Stickers like the Ibo Power and Titan Hollows increased in price 25 fold between 2018 and 2021. In fact, it was probably more than that. This drastically outpaced most other things in the community and definitely any comparable skins like the Dragon Lore and the Howl. And when something you know beats the market as much as this, it becomes increasingly hard for it to keep up the momentum. If the stickers increase in price five times as much as everything else, well, there's five times the monetary incentive for people holding these things to cash out their investments. And it also means any potential fall or market correction could be five times as hard. And it's also five times as expensive for the item to keep going up in price. And this is probably what catters have been dealing with. They outstripped the rest of the market so much that they kind of ended up in limbo for a while as demand stabilized and everything else caught up. It's a basic law of markets that things tend to revert to the mean. And while caddos are still overperformers, it shouldn't be a surprise that something like this eventually weighed them down. And to that end, it's also worth noting that it's a rule of markets that if something has underperformed for the last couple of years, often it'll overperform in the next couple of years. And caddos do kind of fit that description at the moment. That's not financial advice, and this is not a normal market, so that can't be taken for granted. However, the fact that the last couple of years for Caddos have been kind of bad is actually a good indicator for their future. 